Hi everyone, I'm so glad to see you again. Today we're going to talk about opposites. So the word opposite starts with an ah, which actually is an O sound. So look behind me. I have the capital O is the one that's yellow and the lowercase O is the one that's orange. I like the O's because the big capital letter looks the same as the little capital letter. So O can make this sound, O, like Olivia, or it can make an ah sound like opposite. So I'm going to first read you a book about opposites and it's also about dinosaurs. And this one is called Dinosaur Roar. And the person who wrote the book, actually two people, I think they must be married or maybe they're in the same family because their last name is Stickland, Paul and Henrietta Stickland. Maybe one is the writer and one is the illustrator. So this book is called Dinosaur Roar by Paul and Henrietta Stickland. Dinosaur Roar and Dinosaur Squeak. Dinosaur Fierce and Dinosaur Meek. Oh, what do you think meek means? Maybe a little shy. Dinosaur Fast and Dinosaur Slow. Dinosaur above and dinosaur below. Whoa, let's see if I can show you the one that's below. He's so tiny. Do you see him down there? This big one is the one that's above and the little one is right below him. Dinosaur weak and dinosaur strong. Oh, do you think you would like to be weak or would you like to be strong? Dinosaur short, ooh, here's a little short one, and a couple more short ones, or very, very long. Dinosaur fat, and dinosaur tiny. Do you think he's eating trees, or do you think he's using the tree like a toothpick? And here's the little tiny one by the rock. Dinosaur clean and dinosaur slimy, oh boy. This dinosaur is so clean, he's using a rock to file his nails. Oh, he wants to look so good. Dinosaur sweet and dinosaur grumpy, oh boy. Dinosaur spiky and dinosaur lumpy. Ooh, I bet you know the name of this kind of dinosaur. Is it a Stegosaurus? All sorts of dinosaurs eating their lunch. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. At the end of the book, munch, munch, scrunch, this dinosaur is eating the letter H of the word scrunch. He didn't even let me finish the story. Now we're gonna play a little game with some opposites. And I bet you'll know what these answers are for this game. So on my magnet board, I have some opposites or I have some words and pictures. There's a pencil here and the pencil says long. There's a weight and the weight says heavy. The elephant says big. The coffee says hot. And the little dog it says back on that card. So I'm gonna name another kind of opposite and you tell me where the match is going to be. So I have a little tiny mouse. What do you think mouse would go to? Little and the opposite of little, big. Oh, little and big, opposites. All right, now I have the opposite. Hmm, it's a feather and on the bottom of the card it says light. So what is the opposite of light? How about heavy? Light and heavy. All right, let's see what we have left. Long, hot, and back. Oh, I have a drink here, and the drink has ice in it, and it says cold. What's the opposite of cold? You're right, it's hot, hot and cold. Okay, now I have a pencil again but it doesn't say long. This one says short. 
You already know. The opposite of short is long. Oh, excuse me, O's. And my last card, it says back. Now this card, what do you think it says on the other side? Did you think it would say front? If you thought it was front, you were right. Good job. Okay, I have one more set. So I'm going to take all these down and I'll put up some more opposites for you. Okay, you'll have to start thinking of the opposites. Here's a lady and she has her finger by her mouth and it says, quiet. All right, oh, and then I have a traffic light and the light is green, it says go. Okay, then I have a boy and he's making a face. He's sad. Ooh, a big rock. And the rock is hard. And finally, I have a picture of a cheetah. And under the cheetah, it says fast. So start thinking of the opposites. I have quiet, go, sad, hard, and fast. All right. The first opposite to match. Oh, this one says happy. What's the opposite of happy? Sad, you're right. Happy and sad. Okay, I have another card. Ooh, this one says soft. What is the opposite of soft? Hard, you got it. All right, I have three more. Oh, this lady, she's speaking into a megaphone and it says loud. What is the opposite of loud? Soft or quiet, you're right, you got it. Okay, two more left. Do you already know the opposite of go? Hmm. Stop. You knew it. Stop and go. And my last card must go with that cheetah. The cheetah is fast and the snail is slow. You are right. I'm going to have you do some opposite movements. So you need a spot where you can move. And the first thing I want you to try is to put your arms up as high as you can, up, and the opposite of up is down, and then put your hands down to the ground. All right, try it again. Up and down. Okay, now I want you to look at me, and I want, you to, I want to see your front, okay? The opposite of front is back. So turn around. Do you see my back? front and back. Now I'd like you to have your hands go in your shirt. And the opposite of in is out. Try it again. In and out. Now we're going to move to the right. So my right side is this one, but your right side is over here. So we're going to move to the right, zoop. And then we're going to move to the left, zoop. Right and left. Now, I'm going to have you clap your hands in the front. Can you clap your hands in the back? And the last thing to try is to put your hands on the top of your body. And how can you put your hands on the bottom of your body? Maybe under your shoes or under your feet? Give it a try. Good job. All right, my last thing to do with you, I'm going to have to send you another video. It's a game, and it's called The Opposites Game. But I need to use a teddy bear because he's going to move to different spots. And if I set the teddy bear up like this, he falls right off. So I'm going to wait, and I'll put my game down, and then Mr. Bob can make a video, and he'll make sure that you can see the game board. So we can play that in a little bit, and I even brought a spinner, and I want to make sure you can see the numbers. All right? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.